The Lord said, I think thoughts of peace and not of affliction. You will call upon me, and I will answer you, and I will lead back your captives from every place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, had a vision of an open door to heaven, and I heard a trumpet-like voice that had spoken to me before, saying, Come up here, and I will show you what must happen afterwards. At once I was caught up in the spirit. A throne, there were, a throne was there in heaven, and on the throne sat one whose appearance sparkled like jasper and carnelian. Around the throne was a halo as brilliant as an emerald. Surrounding the throne, throne I saw twenty-four other thrones on which twenty-four elders sat, dressed in white garments and with gold crowns on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning, rumblings, and peals of thunder. Seven flaming torches burned in front of the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. In front of the throne was something that resembled a sea of glass like crystal. In the center and around the throne there were four living creatures covered with eyes in front and in back. The first creature resembled a lion, the second was like a calf, the third had a face like that of a man, and the fourth looked like an eagle in flight. The four living creatures, each of them with six wings, were covered with eyes inside and out. Day and night they do not stop exclaiming, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and who is and who is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to the one who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the twenty-four elders fall down before the one who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. They throw down their crowns before the throne, exclaiming, Worthy are you, Lord of our God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, because of your will, they came to be and were created. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Praise the Lord in his sanctuary. Praise him in firmament of his strength. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him for his sovereign majesty. Holy holy, 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 Holy Lord, mighty God. God. Praise Him with the blast of the trumpet. Praise Him with lyre and harp. Praise Him with timbre and dance. Praise Him with strings and pipe. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, mighty God. God. Praise Him with surrounding cymbals. Praise Him with sounding cymbals. Praise Him with clanging cymbals. Let everything that is breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy Lord, my God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Hallelujah. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. And with Lord your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While people were listening to Jesus speak, he proceeded to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem, and they thought that the kingdom of God would appear there immediately. So he said to them, A nobleman went off to a distant country to obtain kingship for himself and then to return. He called ten of his servants and gave them ten gold coins. He told them, Engage in trade with these until I return. His fellow citizens, however, despised him and sent a delegation after him to announce, we do not want this man to be our king. But when he returned after obtaining the kingship, he had the servants called to whom he had given the money to learn what they had gained by trading. The first came forward and said, sir, your gold coin has earned 10 additional ones, he replied. Well done, good servant. You have been faithful in this very small matter. Take charge of ten cities. Then the second came and reported, Your gold coin, sir, has earned five more. And to this servant, too, he said, You take charge of five cities. Then the other servant came and said, Sir, here is your gold coin. I kept it stored away in a handkerchief, for I was afraid of you because you are a demanding man. You take up what you did not lay down, and you harvest what you did not plant, he said to him. With your own words, I shall condemn you, you wicked servant. You knew I was a demanding man, taking up what I did not lay down, and harvesting what I did not plant. Why did you not put my money in a bank? Then on my return, I would have collected it with interest. And to those standing by, he said, take the gold coin from him and give it to the servant who has 10. But they said to him, sir, he has 10 gold coins. He replied, I tell you, to everyone who has, more will be given. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Now as for those enemies of mine who did not want me as their king, bring them here and slay them before me. After he had said this, he proceeded on his journey up to Jerusalem. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning, my God. If you don't mind, I'm going to try something different because it, <coughs> our night service is generally delayed by the time I get this mass out for our people to watch, that I'll start taking the Wednesday morning mass and showing that earlier to where they can have a mass. And if they feel free, if you who are watching feel free to want to uh, watch our Wednesday night teaching, I'll just take that. and. and that'll be available for you. So you'll still get the Mass early. As our liturgical <clears throat> year ends, our readings want to draw our attention to our ultimate end, death, heaven, or hell. And today, our first reading gives us a picture of heaven. Now that picture can seem almost incomprehensible. A living creature that has the appearance of a man, but at the same time has eyes, it's covered in eyes, both inside and out. That would be kind of hard to imagine, wouldn't it? Well, that's the apocalyptic literature that John uses. 
I'll give you another way to look at it. John speaks of the four living creatures, the man, the uh, ox, the lion, and the eagle. Those are the four images of the gospel writers. And John says that you have around the throne of the king the 24 elders, the four living creatures, and eventually he's going to fill it out with the individuals uh, who are a vast number, who are no particular nation, they're from all nations. And he says, this is heaven. We look at it and say, aha, this is St. Bridget. St. Bridget is a, albeit a, not the most ideal representation, it is a representation of heaven. There is no really ideal representation, because how can you represent something that we honestly uh, have no real experience of? We know we've been told, but none of us have actually been to heaven and come back. When you look at it in the liturgy, what happened? You just heard from one of the four living creatures when Deacon Bullock read the gospel. And the gospel sees all. Why? The words of Christ, they apply to all. And love thy neighbor. That's a universal truth. It's not just especially a Christian truth, but it can be a universal truth. So you look at that, you couple with the throne, the altar, the crowd who gathers around from all nations, and you think about our heritages we're all pretty much from different families and ethnicities, backgrounds, ancestries. This represents heaven, what we do here at this moment. And as in heaven where the crowd chants, holy, 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 we shall do that shortly. And as the crowd comes to adore the Lamb of God upon the throne, we will adore the Lamb of God upon the altar. And as John was writing and spoke of, this is the beauty of what we have. Come, Lord Jesus. Remember the last words of the gospel. Come, Lord Jesus. Very hopeful. We, too, join our praise with John's praise because like John when he was here on earth we too are able to experience a little bit of heaven here this morning at St. Bridget's when we come together and we pray and we support each other not only we here present we who watch the video our extended family we come together to witness to each other, to pray for each other, for worthy is the Lamb. Y'all have a very blessed day today. May Almighty God be with you. May He bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. <clears throat> For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord may graciously watch over her and care for her, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the peoples of all the world, that the Lord may graciously preserve harmony among them, let us pray to the Lord. <coughs> Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are oppressed by any kind of need, that the Lord may graciously grant them relief, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For ourselves and our own community, that the Lord may graciously receive us 
as a sacrifice acceptable to himself, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our departed holy souls for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with the Glory Be prayer. Glory, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his own church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in the company of the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save Amen. us, Savior, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you, the peace of your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but I only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. To be near God is my happiness, to place my hope in God, the Lord.
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, to be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy, Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan, and all the other evil spirits, who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious love. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit that consoled him. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, His angels, and His saints. 